Hello and welcome, my name is Kevin, this is Do It For Bruce, we're here in CK3 once more with you all. Today is the start of a wonderful week. We have Time Lapse Week, everybody's favorite. We're starting off with a firecracker of a time lapse where we've made the de jure land of all the empires and kingdoms to see which one is the most powerful. We're starting in the year 1066. We set it up for each empire to have their own faith and culture so that the AI has the opportunity to do the best that they can do. So with that out of the way, let's talk about prediction. One of these empires is going to do much better than all the rest. And I'm going to say it's either the Byzantines or our boys, mm, let's say the Siljuks. I feel like these two traditionally have, have always been good empires. And then for religion, we'll say uh, Catholicism, 1066. So obviously Catholicism is going to kick butt and take names. Will be probably Iranian or uh, maybe even uh, Arabic. They seem to be already off to a good start, but you know, Shaz Turks might, might surprise us with a with a sneaker. With that, let's get underway and see how well these empires do with all this. I'll see you in a bit. Here we are, 386 years in the future, and the map looks a little less put together. Uh, we have a lot more uh, splitting and splicing, and obviously the empires have fallen, empires have risen. Britannia has fallen to Bronska and Scotland. Just split that nation right down the middle. It looks like they're actually having a nice little conquest over parts of... Uh, some de jure land conflicts. Uh, Ireland has also popped out. Uh, Byzantines who seem to have a full-fledged collapse. There's no such thing as the Byzantines anymore. The Arabic Empire is gone. The Suljuks are barely holding on. The Mongols are... I got an ugly leader. It's either the Suljuks or the Byzantines are going to be do well, and I think uh, that is incorrect. We have... Francia is probably one of the better ones, or this... Emp oh, it's actually a kingdom. Uh, this... It's France, yeah, probably with this either this not the strongest, but like the most land. I think that's 
that's probably we'll give it to them unless we find uh maybe a, one of these other kingdoms or empires over here but our religion uh whoa usually I, like i said i think catholicism was going to be number one but i think ish ismailism uh doing its best to take second spot and then ushery and orthodox that i thought would reorganize did not organize um it's funny because the old version of their religion is more more prevalent than their new one i wasn't expecting a lot of uh changing just because there usually isn't enough uh, time to do it but it looks like we have some italio french just some straight up french you only really see some change right here in the north and these smaller areas where there's likelihoods of change happening not until the new map uh updates i think happen will we really see development play a bigger part in wh whether or not the ai is doing well because this ai itself he's probably yeah he's got 44,000 troops that's great but he is unable to for some reason reform the byzantine empire uh with that many troops probably because his neighbor has got 64,000. but it's interesting when the new patch comes through that will introduce kingdoms and empires to be formed and maintained with the ai uh, next we'll look at uh, languages uh, i said iranian or arabic was going to be the top spoken but it looks like it's probably french with how many counties you got here 178 plus 44 plus 41. um Shaz Turk only has 129. Empires, Francia looks like they've got the biggest and so do the Maghrebs. Mm, actually, yeah, the Maghrebs took over more of the Kanem Bor Bornu uh, Empire de jure. So I think Suljix also did a lot of work too, yeah. But in the end, I'm going to say the Suljix probably could have kept it together, but it looks like they got cut in two with their familial issues, uh, but Let's see, let's make it, let's just double check that obviously military strength isn't gonna represent. They have 98,000. Um, whereas this boy, how much, how many troops do you normally have? So the, traditionally France is the strongest. They're just in the midst of two wars. So we're gonna give it to them. And then comes after that is the Iberian still somehow isn't able to pull the trigger on domination. I don't understand why. Okay, what's the issue? completely control two of the following. Uh, it's because he doesn't personally control two things. Struggle never gonna get done by the AI. It'll, it'll be interesting to see if they, in the new patch, if they are gonna be able to be a stronger and able to do that with all those additions to increasing AI's abilities and as well as cohesion, but only time will tell. Thank you so much for showing up for our first episode of Time Lapse Week. We have another one coming out tomorrow, so look for that then. And as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a good rest of your day. Ciao!